Today we're learning how to fix the hash and a error in the context of VLOOKUP. In the notes below this video, you'll find a link to a printable PDF highlighting all of the different solutions that we're going to cover. So to get started, we're going to do a VLOOKUP. We're going to VLOOKUP on this state code. We're going to do it in this table. We want column 3 for sales and we want an exact match. If you have any questions on VLOOKUP, you can click on the link in this video to go to another one of my videos showing you everything you need to know about VLOOKUP. So as you'll see here, our VLOOKUP returned a hash and a result. It's important to understand that the hash and a error stands for not available. So our formula is telling us that state code isn't available in our data, but we can see state code 18 is right here in our source data so I want to call your attention to the green highlight in the upper left hand corner of all of these state codes you'll notice that the state codes in our source data have this green highlight but this state code in our lookup value does not and the green highlight means that the source data state codes are formatted as text so to make our formula work, we need to not make these formatted as text. So to do that, you highlight the column. You go to Data, Text to Columns, Finish. So as you'll see, the green highlight is gone. These codes are no longer formatted as text. And our VLOOKUP now returns the proper value. Next, we're going to move down our table and do our VLOOKUP on the state of Ohio. So, so equals VLOOKUP Ohio in this table. We want column two for sales, exact match. You'll also notice here that we get a hash and a error, but we can also see that Ohio is clearly listed in our table. So to fix this error, we're going to introduce two new formulas. The first formula is the len formula, and the len formula simply counts the number of characters in a particular cell. So we're going to do the len formula on our lookup value. And we're going to do the len formula on our source data. And we're going to notice that len returns 6 for our lookup value and 4 for our source data. And in this case, our lookup value has hidden spaces in the cell. So if you double click in the cell, you'll notice that there are two trailing spaces here. And that's going to throw off your VLOOKUP. So to get rid of those spaces and to make this one work, we're going to use the trim formula. And the trim formula simply gets rid of the excess spaces in a particular string. So we're going to keep our VLOOKUP formula the same, but on our lookup value, we're just going to add the trim formula. So trim E5, which is Ohio, and keep everything else the same. And when we do that, our VLOOKUP will work. Moving down to our final example, we're going to do a VLOOKUP on state code 57. And you'll notice that the formula returns a hash and a. Now since hash and a means not available, in this instance it's actually a truly valid error. State code 57 is not in our table. But sometimes the hash NA error can be a little unsightly and people don't like to see it. So I'm going to show you how you can get rid of it. And that requires another formula. This time it's the if error formula. So you're going to go to your VLOOKUP. And in front of that VLOOKUP, you're going to enter the if error formula. And the if error formula simply says if our VLOOKUP returns an error, give me this string instead of hash NA. So in this instance, we would just like to say no state code. So if the formula, if our VLOOKUP is an error, return no state code. We're going to enter that. And our formula now returns no state code instead of the unsightly hash and a error. 
So that's how to fix NA errors in your VLOOKUP formulas. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. For more tips and tricks, click on the link in the notes below or head over to howtoanalyst.com.